This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove this resistor so that you can use these capacitors from microwaves. If you're getting these capacitors out of microwaves, you want to make sure that there are no PCBs in the capacitor. You can see this one even shows the rating of the capacitance. It's a 10 mega ohm resistor and it's rated at 2200 volts AC at 0.94 microfarads. So as a capacitor, that's a pretty good capacitor, except it has this internal resistor, which would let it bleed off so that it wouldn't retain its energy. It would use the resistor to bleed down. So we don't want these resistors in the capacitors. So the first thing I did here is I broke this because I'm not going to use this top. I'm going to remove the top and I'm going to create a new top that will seal the oil in there and make the make use of the 10 mega ohm resistor in another project. So what you're going to do here is you're going to break that so that you can put a normal can opener on it. When I was in the military, we had something called a P38, and I had one, but I couldn't find it, so uh, it would be perfect for this because you see this lip is a little deeper than a normal can, and it's a little tough. You have to, like, crimp around the edge of this thing. I just squeezed it and crimped around the edge. I couldn't get it to go around that. It's too small, and then you're able to just... I uh, use the can opener to get that part open. I've already opened uh, this one, so I'm going to show you how to remove this. You're going to heat this up and remove these tabs. You want to keep these resistors. They're, they're kind of hard to find, actually. For my probe, I'm going to use these small resistors. I'm going to hang on to that. And I want to show you here on this so you want to be ex extra careful you can see here it broke that resistor so um, if you actually knew what kind it was you could snap that thing inside and and stop the resistance <laughs> real easy but if you're trying to save that resistor if you take one apart and it's like this what you're going to have to do is find a way to snip that shaft without twisting it if you want to get that resistor off because uh, this one there's a, a post here and the resistor actually got a hole through the tab and then it's uh, just clamped together and it's not soldered so that's a little tougher and my first attempt didn't go so well as you can see um, what you want to do is you want to take a small rag and you want to wipe off that lip real carefully and make sure that there's no oil because we're going to use silicone to seal that up and what we're going to do here is solder some wires on this we might want to bleed off a little bit of that oil so it's not quite as high as that the thing is these wires came from the microwave and they're they're rated um, they actually attached to the capacitor, so... Okay, see nothing to it. Now, I think what I want to do here is put um, a piece of plastic uh, behind this. So, in this case, I'm going to use what's there. Now you want to make sure you're, you don't break them wires because obviously coming out of the capacitor that, that would not be a good thing. Once you've done that, uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure there's no oil around this capacitor. Right 
around the lip because what we're going to do is fill this 100% silicone. Once you got the wires attached, what you're going to do here is fill the top of this with silicone. So we don't want the oil all over the place and silicone is going to act as an insulator. Okay. So there you go. That's how to make one of these capacitors so it has no internal resistance. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out.